Hi there, this is Marhad Dad here again. In uh, this uh, lecture, I have to speak also about another attribute, which is the AS Pass Pretend. So uh, I'm going to do a lab, as you can see, four pawns. But before I start doing those pawns, let's go to the lab scenario to show you what is the AS Pass and how we can apply it on the Huawei routers. And then I will come back to the pawns and start doing them. So what is the attribute, which is AS Pass? Before I speak about our scenario, there is something we see here when we go to the attributes on the list. And we have uh, already spoken about that one, about that one. So this is the one, which is the AS pass. Normally, when a network has been advertised on BGP, it has a path, right? So it says how long does it need, how many autonomous system does it need to be reached to him? So uh, the shortest uh, pass is the one which the router will take it. So if we go back out to our conversation here, on our graph, we have the following scenario. We have two routers which are on Automatic System 1 and one router is on Automatic System 2. So Router 2 is connected to both routers on Automatic System 1. Let's imagine that this is our ISP. And it is here is us. So we are inside autonomous system two and we are connected to the ISP on the two routers. So we are having something like a, a failover or something just in case one link go down, then it goes to the second link. So we have to think of something like that. All right. So we have here eBGP between those two routers and we have eBGP between those two routers. And from our router, we can reach to this network, which is 1.1.1.0, whether from here and from here. So by the end, we will see that router 2 will be reaching to that network from router 1. Why? Because everything is tied and it will check what is the lowest uh, uh, peer uh, IP address. So this one is 192.1.2.1. This one is 192.1.2.2.c.3. So it will go from that side. So let's imagine that we are not really on our autonomous system. We don't know very well about BGP and we don't want to really play with the attributes. So we speak to our uh, ISP and we tell them that, please, we don't want that our traffic to go to the internet so 1.1.1, .1 let's say that it is the internet. So we don't want that our traffic to go to the internet from router 1, because here the, the speed is less than I have on uh, the link, which is on router 3. So what we can say to them that we don't want that traffic to go from here, but instead of that, we want all the traffic to go from here. But we don't want to do any configuration ourselves on router 2. Of course, if we know, we can just uh, use the preferred value and then it works perfectly. But uh, in this case, we say that, yeah, we don't want to do it ourselves. So we want you to influence that. So we want you that uh, you make something on your ISP routers to say that all traffic to go from router 3. So what the, the ISP engineer here can do, he can say, okay, fine, I'm going to change the AS pass, the automatic system pass. So what he will do, he will increase the AS pass on router 1. So that means... Once this prefix is being received to router 2, then router 2 see that, oh, to reach 1.1.1.0, I need to go, for example, for 3 AS, 3 autonomous system. While the one from uh, router 3, it is only one autonomous system. So we just prepend that there is more autonomous system for uh, the router to reach to that network. We, tell, we just somehow like we are not saying the truth. So we are pretending that there are more autonomous systems to reach to that network. Then router two will say, oh, okay. Then I have to reach to 1.1.1.0 from router one. I need three autonomous systems to reach it. While from router three, I need only one autonomous system. Then all my traffic will go from router three. So that's something we can configure it on router one. And we can make router one having more autonomous system, pretending that it needs more autonomous system for the traffic to be uh, receiving or reaching to this network, then router 2 directly would decide to go to that side. All right, so that's something we can discuss with your ISP engineer, speak to him, and then he can do that. In case you are the ISP engineer, now you know how to do it after we finish this lab. So this is what we are going to do in this lecture. If you are ready, let's go now back to the points and start doing them. Point number one, all IP addresses are set as per the graph and the BGP already configured. So I have already done everything. And if you want, we can go directly to here. So there is the picture there. You can see it. So let's go directly to router two. There we can see all the details because that's from where we have to see. And if I say display BGP peer, we can see that there is a peer with router 
one and router three. And if we say display BGP routing table, we can see that the uh, router is uh, taking the way from router one to reach to that network because the neighbor peer has lost IP address. So it's come from router one. And uh, if we say here display uh, IP routing table, you can see that this is the one reaching to 1.1.1.1 from router one. Let's ping it. 1.1.1.1. Here we go. We have a ping. So that means all IP addresses BGP all are set correctly. Point number one is done. Point number two, check on router two, which path is it taking to reach 1.1.1.0 network? So we have check that it's going from router one. All right, so why? Because the uh, uh, peer uh, neighbor IP address is lowest on router one than on la router two, because all the attributes are the same. So somewhere has to uh, break the tie. Now we have to configure on router one, the attribute of autonomous system pass pending. So router one has a longer autonomous system. So again, what I want to do now, so I want to increase the autonomous system from router one. So router one will, when he advertised 1.1.1.0 to router two, he will tell him that if you want to reach to me on, or to this network, then you have to uh, come to me and I have autonomous, like three autonomous system to reach to that network. While router three, he has only one autonomous system, which is the autonomous system AS1. And then the S2 needs only one autonomous system to reach to that network. So I uh, just like fool router two and tell him, yeah, if you want to reach to this network, you can, but you have three autonomous system to reach it. Then router two will say, this is three, that is one, then yeah, I will go from that side. And if we go back to router three, we can still, or to router two, we can still see that if we say again, display BGP routing table, we see that it's going from router one. So this router two is going from router one. Very good. So, and uh, maybe it's nice that I can make it a little bit higher. So here it's, you see, this is the path. You see, it has only one path to reach to 1.1.1.1. And also the way from router three, so router two to router three also has one path. So I'm gonna fool now router two in a way I will increase the pass on router one. So let's do that. We go to router one. And from here, I have to do something which we call it the route policy. So to use the uh, IS pass prepend, we should create a route policy. So I will say route policy. And then we give it a number. Let's give a number one. And now we have to say permit. And we should always put node, so that's something we just have to make it. So let's put integer five. So I'm just creating now the route policy, which has number one. So this sequence has been created. Now I have to say apply, question mark. And now you see this one, AS path. Of course, you can use also the route policy to do some other things. You see, this is the local preference. Also, you can use the route policy for the local preference. The preferred value is there, All right? So the same what we have configured on uh, the uh, router uh, before when we use that one, you can also use the route policy. But now what is important for me is the AS path. So AS path, question mark. Now it's saying to you, okay, you want to use the AS pass, put the autonomous system, how many autonomous system it needs to reach to that network. So let's say that it has to go to autonomous system 400 and another autonomous 400 and 400. So let's say four, uh, three times 400 to uh, reach to that network. So this is 400 is an autonomous system. Uh, so I'm just fooling now a router to then question mark. Now you can say you want it ad additive. So to add it to the autonomous system that is already there, which is one, or you want to overwrite it. That means you take out one and you say it needs to go to 400, 400, 400. So in my case, I will say that I want to add it. And then question mark. And that's it. So now the route policy has been created. If I say display this, that is my route policy, which has number one. And then it has under it apply a as pass 400, 400, 400. So the route policy has been created. Now I need to go to the BGP process. So I go to the BGP and in my case it is one. 
Now I'll go to the peer, which is router two, one nine two one six eight dot one two dot two. Correct. So that is my peer. And over here, I will apply the route policy. So if we go down here, you can see that is the route policy. So let's go up again and write it. And then I will say route policy, which I have created number one. And now they say me, okay, how you want to apply the route policy? You want it import or export? What does it mean? We are on router one and router one want to advertise the AS pass, but it should be into him or it should be out it should be out export right because he has to tell router 2 that if you want to reach to this network you need to go to autonomous system 1 and then 400 and then 400 and then 400 right so we have to put it the way out and that's what is export so we have to say here export and that's it so now we have already finished the configuration it takes few seconds until router 2 recognize that all right now i need more autonomous system to reach to that network from router 1 so i will go from router 3. point number 3 is done point number 4 check now if router 2 is taking the path via router 3 to reach 1.1.1.0 network let's do that we go to router 2 let's clear everything and I would like to use the comment, which is display DGP routing label. You can see how nice it is now. So it's going on from router 3. Why it is going from router 3? Because it has checked the path. It's only one autonomous system, which is autonomous system 1. While from router 1, look, it has to go to autonomous system 1 and then 400. And then 400, and then 400. Yeah, that is really what we did, right? We said that it is to add to 1, 400, 400, 400. So this is longer than this one. So now our router, which is router 2, we say, all right, I will go then to that network from router 3. And if you want, we can now say display IP routing table. Look, it's going there's the entry inside the uh, routing table and it's going from router 3. We ping it 1.1.1.1 working we do trace route to 1.1.1.1 should go from router 3 and indeed. Excellent so this is what is the AS uh, pass prepend so we are prepending so we just like fooling the uh, router like if you want to go to our network uh, or to the network or the prefixes that uh, we have behind us so it is longer than this one then in this case the router will go to the shortest path point number four is done and uh, with this point i have also showed you about another attribute which is as pass prepend so uh, we have already spoken about three attributes i still have to speak about some others uh, in uh, this uh, uh, section uh, before we end uh, the course so i hope that uh, this lecture was informative for you and i'll see you in the upcoming lecture